PUBG Sports fans, I'm your PUBG Sports guide, Amy, and I'm here with Paper Thin as always. Yeah, what's up guys? Good to be back. So we're here to talk about PUBG Global Championship 2023, the year's finale. Before moving on, we want to briefly talk about the road to PGC and how PUBG Sports was like in 2023 so far. Uh, let's start with PGS1. Finally, we got to see 17 Gaming win, so it was awesome to see them get their first championship. And then PGS2 in Riyadh, it was the Sonics coming through with another big win. Uh, such a great moment for them. And finally, there was PNC 2023. It's not a part of Road to PGC, but Team Korea finally succeeded to hold their trophy in their hometown after winning the first chicken dinner in PNC. So only remaining tournament would be PGC 2023, where the best team of 2023 will be decided. PGC 2023 will kick off on November 18th and last until December 3rd, and it will be held in BCC Hall, Central Lat Prao, in Bangkok, Thailand. You remember last year? Yes, I do. I mean, PNC 2022 was amazing. The fans in Thailand have so much passion. They're so kind and welcoming. I can't wait to go back. In PGC 2023, 32 teams will be competing for 13 days to decide the champion of 2023. And we have a little bit different format this time. We have five brackets, group stage, loser's bracket, winner's bracket, and the last chance stage, and the grand finals. We also have four maps, Pago Vikendi, the new maps, and Erangel, Miramar, the classic maps. The one thing we want to talk about is that we have the Erangel update in this version, right? Yeah, exactly. So there's been some changes to the map with locations like Stalber and others, Milta as well. And you also have some interesting new features like the secret rooms, which is pretty interesting. There's some good loot in there. And we also have a new weapon coming in, Dragnoth. I think it's a really fun gun, really good at close range. Players that like the barrel or the ace might want to use the Dragunov instead. We've seen a lot of interesting plays in 2023 with the new weapons like mortars or pincher pads, so I expect a lot of plays out of Dragunov too. So now it's time to talk about the 32 teams participating in PG 2023. Before moving into the details, I want to explain how the 32 teams have secured their tickets to PG 2023. First four teams from PGS points, it's based on their performance in both PGS1 and PGS2. And the PGC points were given based on performance in their regional series or third party event. Based on that point, eight teams from APAC, including the host country seed, and 10 teams from Asia, six teams from EMEA, and four teams from Americas have secured their tickets. So let's move on to the four teams that have secured their ticket earlier based on PGS points. I think these teams have a high possibility of winning PGC as they have been consistent throughout the year. So first is Sonics. Yeah, they're looking really, really good. Now adding Kickstart to the roster, a phenomenal fragger. Trying to get him fit in with the roster can take some time. So yeah, their PAS result for PAS2, maybe not what they wanted, but that's okay. They will get better, I think. So absolutely a team you have to look out for. In 17 Gaming, they finally won the international event. The interesting fact is that after winning PGS1, they have finally won PCL2. Yeah, it seems like once you start winning, things just kind of keep rolling downhill for you in a good way. So really excited to see what they can continue to do. Next is Twisted Minds. I think is the most consistent team in recent years in PUBG's first scene, but it's just that they can't win the global event. All they need is that one win, and then I think you're going to see Twisted Minds potentially string a bunch of tournament wins together. They're just too good. And for last, it's Danawa Esports. We have to say that Danawa Esports were really consistent, winning all PWS, the regional series, and three of them have won PNC 2023. So all the players in Danawa Esports are really in their highest form this year. Previously, the Danawa Esports, the IGL was Seoul and Inonix, but I heard that Inonix is taking role as IGL. So I think this would help Seoul to frag out even more, which means that he has high possibility of becoming the PGC 2023 MVP. And I think we have few more candidates out of these teams. Absolutely. I mean, most people I talk to consider Seoul to be the best player in the world right now. Of course, Tiggleton as well. He has been fragging out of his mind this year. Perfectix continues to dominate. He does a ton of damage every event. This guy's nuts. And I think a player this year that's really had a breakout year is Himas. Of course, he's always been good, but this year he really could be an MVP. 
Moving on to APAC region, we have two Vietnam teams, the Bears Esports and Genius Esports. This time in recent PVS, there was an upset that Severs Esports haven't won their regional series. Yeah, it's really surprising, but Genius Esports has Clories, who's been out of his mind. Like, just period, one of the best players in the world, potentially right now. Uh, you know, we talked about Hemas earlier as a potential MVP, but Clories, who knows? I mean, with the way he's been playing, he put crazy good numbers during PVS. Even though Severs Esports missed their win on recent PVS, still, Severus Esports is the best Vietnamese team who have shown their performance in the global level. Yeah, exactly. Their, their quality, their consistency is without a doubt. Now, a lot of people considering this an S-class tier team, you got to suspect that these guys are going to make a run. Next is Thailand, which have one more seed as a host country seed, so they have three teams. There was also an upset in recent PUBG Thailand Series 2. Their turn 5 have won, and that was the only way that T5 could earn the ticket, but they did. Yeah, exactly. I think a lot of teams are going to remember T5 because they really embraced the emergency pickup so effectively so many times throughout all these different events. Yeah, they maybe don't have the fragging power of some other teams, but that's okay because they play really intelligently. Um, what about day trade gaming? They were the powerhouse, and I think this team is still the powerhouse of Thailand. Yeah, it seems like they're in a little bit of a slump right now. That's okay, though. I think they can turn it around. We know they can. I'm worried they're kind of going back to that old day trade that played a little bit too safe. Uh, compared to what they're truly capable of with players like Nerds and Flash. So next is Purple Mood Esports. There are some of the familiar names here. Uh, Tanawat, I, I really like this guy a lot. He's been around since basically day one of PUBG Esports. A veteran player, a smart player, so I'm really excited for Purple Mood. And we have one each from PCR and Japan and Chinese Taipei. Yeah, so I think from Chinese Taipei, PMA, we don't know much about them. They're brand new with XO. They played pretty good in the beginning of PGS1, but kind of fell off. So I'm curious to see if they can bounce back. And for E36, you know, some familiar names here. I think a lot of fans are going to be excited to see Star-Lord back. Great player back in the day. Let's see how they perform in PGC 2023. So next is Asia with the most seeds, 10 teams. So we have six teams from China and four teams from Korea. So let's start with the Chinese teams. Tianba Esports have ranked first in their PGC points. So yeah, Tianba continues to play really, really well on the back of really good shot calling by Lin Shu. The guy has been taking tons of good teams to various international tournaments. They're going to be in the hunt, I feel like. Um, second place was 4 a.m. for Angry Men. They have won the PCL Spring, but they didn't perform well in PCL Summer. Yeah, kind of surprising with ZP on and HS coming from New Happy over to this team. I think expectations are higher than what they showed. I think they could still do really well, maybe just taking some time to adjust to the new roster. So it's New Happy again, the winning team of PGC 2021. Yeah, I mean, you still have Ming Ming. He's still performing at a very high level, so this team could pop off. You never know. And then we have Petrichor Road again. Aix Left continues to be a superstar as we expect. They got third in PCL Summer. Chewy coming on to this team now, looking really strong as well. These guys, who knows, they can pop off at any given moment. Next is Tai Lu. Tai Lu didn't perform in PGS1, but they did show us some impressive plays in PGS2. I really am hopeful for this team because they have Shen who has shown himself to be one of the most explosive players we have in the world right now. Let's see if they can build some momentum here and have a good result at PGC. So last is Sheng Yixin Long, the same as new team, but the names are quite familiar. Yeah, there's some players on here you guys are going to recognize. BL is Bo Liang from Infantry. Um, MML is Tian Tian from Tianba Days. So a really good team came through up through kind of the lower tier system to qualify into the PCL and made their way all the way here to PGC. What a story for this team. Next, we have four Korean teams. Let's start with Gen G. Um, the PO came back to Gen G with their old Big Open members, and they have changed roster recently that Esther is coming back to play in PGC. Yeah, this is kind of an interesting move. Esther is a player that has a lot of history with PO. In that way, there could still be some potential for the squad. And Diplaskia, they haven't been playing global events for so long, and finally they came back. I think fans should also be excited about V7. You've got Heaven there. They got 7th at PGS1. They're a really strong team. And Asa Pentagram, all familiar names from global events. Always fun teams to watch for. So let's see how these teams compete in PGC 2023. Next up is EME region. We have six teams in this region. 
The shocking news is that defending champion Na'Vi didn't make it to PGC 2023. Yeah, it is really surprising, to be honest. I thought this was a team that, even with Uba moving off of the roster, still should have the potential to get there, but they just came up short. Let's start with foot esports. I'm really excited about this team. The firepower on this team is absolutely insane. I mean, you got T-Bone and Vard from the UK, Beamy played on Team Denmark, and you got AT coming over from FaZe Clan. Absolutely could make waves at this tournament. Next, we have FaZe Clan. They have managed to come to the PGC 2023, but they haven't shown a good performance in the global level in PGS 1 and 2. Yeah, that's okay though, I think. I think they were just trying to get this roster playing better together. They got second at PEC. It seems like this is now kind of what they expected out of these players when they put them together. FaZe, absolutely on my radar for a team that'll make the grand finals. Next is Ascend. They have placed second in PGS1, but they didn't make it to PGS2. I think this is a good team. They have one of the most unique play styles in the world. So this is a team that I think fans are going to really enjoy watching. Yeah, Ascend tend to play in the edge, but on the other hand, the next team, Howl, tend to play in the center. And this team is the only team with the Turkish player right now. Yeah, they had moments in PGS1 where they looked really strong, but they got caught fighting for some drop spots and stuff like that. I think this is a team that, if they can have some consistency, could have really good results at PGC 2023. So next question mark, this team is a team that showed a good performance in last PGC 2022, but in the first half of 23, didn't perform that well. You know, it has a lot of history with some of these players, particularly Doozy, he's been around for a long time. Best of luck coming in here, performing even better than uh, I think a lot of people may be expected. This is a great team to watch out for. Last but not least is Exult with Wuba coming in. They almost did not make it to the PGC 2023, but based on their performance in the early first half of 2023, and based on all the unexpected situation happened in PGC fall, they barely managed to secure that last ticket to PGC 2023. I mean, with Uba on there, you have to consider them a threat just because of his experience you know he's been there done that he's going to be able to help these players if maybe uh, they're a little bit nervous or something like that so you have to at least consider them uh, as a potential grand finalist so uba being an only player from the defending champion team let's see how he perform in his new team Last but not least is america's region with four teams coming up from pgc points first is space station gaming the roster is not Exactly same, but this team is that team from PG2021 who had made that wicked ending from the Paul and the Miramar. I really like this team. I mean, I think Paige and Pixel are really good additions. They fit in well with Roth and Sharpshot. Sharpshot's still a crazy fragger. This is a really good team. They could make a splash. Next is Luminosity Gaming. Switching members, mine came in and Kickstart left. This team is always the strong team coming up in the global level, but haven't performed well this year. Yeah, it seems like they had a little bit of a struggle. Now with Mime on the squad, they're really hyped about him. They really think he brings a much needed balance to this roster. So I'm really curious to see if they can have better results. And it's really interesting to see that two teams are from South American region, um, Legacy and Team Falcon. Yeah, so these are really, really good players who've been playing at various international events. They got third in PAS, so they're looking really strong right now. And then also there's the Falcons, which is Silzin's team. This guy just consistently seems to make almost every international event there is. I really like this Falcon squad. They got eighth at PGS2. I think they can do really well again. So these 32 finest teams from all over the world will be competing in PGC 2023 starting from the group stage. And the group is divided into two groups based on their seats. How do you think of the group? Yeah, as usual, both are really stacked groups. It's tough to say which one is kind of heavier than the other, although I'm leaning towards group A, seeing Cerberus versus Genius. I think Cerberus has a bit more potential at the international level, but still really, really difficult group no matter which one you're in. So we've looked through all the 32 teams. And before moving on to the closing part, I want to talk about some fun facts about PGC 2023. Do you know the age gap between the youngest player and the oldest player? No idea. <laughs> well, it's Puchils from Daytrade Gaming was born in 1993. Oh. The youngest player, Ventus from D Plus Gia, and Hatsawa from Theratone 5 was born in 2005. Okay then, so 
on like an individual team, what's the largest age gap there is? Um, actually, there are two teams. First is Theraton 5. Um, the youngest player, Hatsa Wat, and the oldest player, Rosa Jr.'s Junior's age gap is 10 years. And also PMA has the 10 year age difference too between Kit and Tian. And in terms of the average age, the Gen G had a highest average age in PG 2023, and the youngest average age was Cerberus Esports from Vietnam. Oh, that's really interesting. I mean, yeah, Gen G, they've been around for a while. I guess they would be the boomer team, but then uh, Cerberus, yeah, that explains their insane mechanical skills with how young they are. Makes sense. Pick'em Challenge is back for PGC 2023. The PGC 2023 special skins are out in in-game store, so please check out. Purchase the item and get the building coupon. Pick the winner, the pick the teams that you cheer for, and if you get it right, you can get EPs to buy another special skins in esports tab. Pick'em Challenge closes before the grand final starts, so make sure you use your voting coupon before it's expired. And also the PUBG Fantasy League is happening once again. You can participate in our Fantasy League on twire.gg. Runs the entire length of the event. You get $100,000 in fantasy money to spend. You get to pick four players who you think are gonna perform the best. You get points based on things like damage dealt, getting wins, getting kills, all of those things add to your total point pool. Now, the best part about PGC for this year is we are giving you guys more prizes you can get G coins and in-game items if you do really well in the Fantasy League uh, compared to the rest of the world. So anybody can participate, you really should get in on it. And starting from PG 2023, our fans can watch individual team feeds in the PUBGesports.com. So don't forget to watch live streaming in PUBGesports.com. And here's our pick for PG 2023 Pick'em Challenge. We've also prepared the PGC 2023 merchandise that you can buy on in the online store. We have the PGC 2023 themed key rings, the long mouse pads and the small one too, and the cute little Velcro patch, and also the PGC 2023 t-shirts in the blue color, and also the black sweatshirts with PGC 2023 decoration on. You can buy all of these on the online PUBG Esports merchandise shop, so don't forget to check out, and you can check the details in the PUBGsports.com too. We've been talking about A to Z of PUBG Global Championship 2023 participating teams to all the actions that we'll be providing. How was it? Oh, it's great. I can't wait to be back in Thailand. Great teams, great country for PUBG Esports. I'm really looking forward to it. So PUBG Global Championship 2023 will take place in Bangkok, Thailand, as you said from November 18th to December 3rd. PGC 2023 is open to fans, so please visit pubgsports.com for the detailed information about the tickets and make sure to follow up all the PUBG Esports actions on site and online. Hope to see you all in Bangkok. Bye-bye.